So far today, the pigs down here have only eaten grass and weeds. The cow and the goats have only eaten grass and weeds. And same for the pigs up here. The ducks and the chickens have been out some this morning, roaming, finding bugs, eating everything they eat, little nibbles of veggies and lots of bugs. I got a so big for golden. What are those? Cool, buddy. Can we eat them for supper? If they're still good, they look a little bit old and tough. Taste one. Here, taste this one. What is it, Justice? <laughs> <laughs> Donald's got a fresh swimming pool of crystal clear water, and they always jump in when the water's clean. Donald's e eating grass and weeds for breakfast. Honestly, he's probably the only vegetarian out here, except for the goats and the cows. <laughs> These guys and the chicks and silkies in here ate uh, cornflakes for breakfast. So you get the picture. Everyone is a little hungry, and here's the thing. I'm out of animal food. That might sound bad, but it's really not that bad. We buy our food just down the road from our house, and it's right on the way. Um, we're almost wherever we're going when we leave our house. So we buy food um, once, sometimes twice a week. Sometimes we buy it for three or four weeks at a time. I have a garden full of abundance out here, and some of it I'm not gonna eat. There's some corn out here that we never even got to harvesting. So my plan has been today, when we ran out of animal food, to feed the animals, especially the pigs, out of the garden. watermelon it's a little sad it's not gonna have time to mature and it's, it was already off the vine the vine was dead I thought I'd just slice it open and see what was in here Wow it's actually ripe it wasn't supposed to be that small but Wow it's the tiniest watermelon I've ever seen. I'll have to save some for Brie. Can you find one for me? I'll try to find one for you. Put that in the fridge so Mama can have some. Ooh. Here, we'll wash it off. Here, grab it. Put that in the fridge, okay? Thank you. We have an abundance of food for today for the pigs. I'm gonna throw some corn to the chickens, but they're able to roam and get a lot of food. So if they don't get fed today um, and get fed tomorrow, they were fed yesterday, um, they'll be totally fine. The pigs, on the other hand, though, need a pretty large amount of caloric intake, um, and this is gonna provide it. There's a bunch of corn in here, um, turnips, uh, some, a busted pumpkin, a rotten pumpkin, comfrey, sorghum, um, Sudan seeds, just a few, a couple potatoes, not a great food source in mass for pigs, and down at the bottom, a giant sunflower. These corn stalks are a treat for the cow and the goats, and also will hopefully help me keep them away as I'm feeding the pigs so I can move the fence and not have them getting all up in the pigs' business. And Come on, goats!
I am sweating and it is hot for mid-September. So far, it seems like the pigs are enjoying their alternative food today. They're really chowing down. You know, we talk about whole grains and you see that in a lot of food packages at the grocery store. This isn't just whole grain grain. This is whole ear grain. It's whole plant grain. You know, they're getting a lot of greens and stuff and I'm sure they'll clean up and eat some of those green corn husks. A wheelbarrow of food from the garden seems like a lot of food. But when you're feeding nine pigs, a wheelbarrow of food doesn't go that far. Now there's a lot of greens in there, but they're gonna just chow down this whole wheelbarrow full in probably within the hour they'll have it all gone. Some thoughts on today's little experiment. Well, it was pragmatic. I needed to feed the animals and I was using abundance and waste, depending on your perspective from the garden, to feed them today. Plus it gave them some great variety in their diet. But it took a lot of food to feed them. But if you look back at my videos, you'll, you'll hear me saying not, I want to be self-sufficient. What you'll hear me saying is, I want to learn how to grow more of my animal's food. I want to learn about being self-sufficient. When we bought our pigs, we never thought that we would feed them 100% from, um, from our own place and from waste food. If you want to do that, by the way, I recommend starting with one or two pigs. One pig would eat a lot less than nine pigs. My distraction plan for the uh, steer and the goats was highly successful. They're still up here cleaning up these corn stalks and that reminds me, there's still a lot of food in the garden. I'm actually considering possibly letting all the animals in there for a day in the upper part, let them just clean everything up and tear into all those corn stalks. but he didn't bring it back. Hey guys, let's go make lunch. Thank you for joining us today. It's been a great morning. I really actually had fun doing this. I've been looking forward to it. We'll see y'all in a video really soon. Oh yeah, it's been another great day on the homestead.